What's happening people? We're back again with another video. This time we're looking at uh, fights that we would have loved to see. Well, at least I would have loved to see. And I'm going to talk about Ricardo Lopez, El Finito. You know, he did some great things in the minimum weight division and the super flyweight, I'm sorry, the light flyweight division. And there were some fights I really wanted to see him do. Now, he kind of Technically, he unified the minimum weight division, but I wanted to see him unify at least once in the super lightweight division. And one of the people I really wanted him to see face because he was at the end of his career, and you know Ricardo Lopez was at the end of his career was uh, Baby Jake. For those who know the South African Jacob Matlala, Baby Jake, a legendary fighter. Diminutive in stature. This is the shortest fighter in boxing, right? But this brother could bob and weave and get to the inside of an opponent. That would have been a hell of a fight to see. Um, Ricardo Lopez versus Baby Jake Miller. And if, not Baby Jake Miller, sorry, Baby Jake Matlala. <laughs> baby Jake Miller is another guy, but this baby was really a baby. He was really small. But again, his boxing style is compact and bob and weave inside fighter. Really fantastic to watch him clean punching and stuff. Of course, the other person that he could have faced was a third rematch with Rosendo Alvarez. But that was Rosendo Alvarez became champion at uh, light flyweight a little bit later when Ricardo Lopez had retired after 2001. I think it was in 2002. Became the WBA light flyweight champion. Uh, baby Jake, he was the WBO champion, so that would have been cool if he had faced the WBO champion. Himself, Rosendo Alvarez, who was the IBF champion, and the WBC world champion at the time was Yo Sam Choi, who had beaten uh, Samang Sujor Turong, or a long reigning WBC light flyweight champion. So, those are the guys out there that were champions at the time. But I really wanted to see him face Baby Jake. That would have been really awesome. Uh, or a rematch with Rosendo, but he already faced Rosendo, so that wouldn't be. But uh, Baby Jake. You know what I mean? Rosendo gave him a tough fight. Oh, he, he had, I think he had two tough fights with Rosendo. You know, and again, Rosendo was kind of a, somewhat of an inside fighter as well. So, I would have loved to see uh, Ricardo Lopez against those guys. Anyways, the other guy, that it never would have happened, but it would have been nice to see it happen, would have been Jorge Arce was a legendary fighter, Argentinian fighter, and that was another guy that, but he was kind of outside of Ricardo Lopez's time slightly. What do you guys have? Tell me some fights that you would have wished you could have seen. All right, guys, catch you in the next video.